My name is Jimmy, and I can make anything. I'm John, and I can make anything funny. <laughs> Jim, what are you doing? Worry about yourself. Watch out. Nice. I haven't seen you play in a while. What is that? That's Beethoven. Who's that? You like this guitar? I do like it, but you've had it a while and it's kind of boring. I'm going to remake the body. Really? Custom-made yeah. body? We're going to make a custom-made body using all these parts. Nice. Let's go to Sam Ash and get some ideas. Can you make me a new body? No. Crowded today. Yeah, a lot of people out. If Jimmy was going to make you a custom guitar carved, well, what would you like it laid in there? Mm, skulls and flames. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel that the guitar is a uh, chick magnet? Definitely. Anything you know how strats have on the back, so they sit on your hip, a little right. curve there, so you can right. like, rest your so arm. So it just has like, a sexy nice. flow to it, basically. Exactly, absolutely, which is right. why I like Rick so much. Yeah, right. yeah sexy is the key word in guitars. <laughs> nice, give him a hand. That's very good. <laughs> we got some interesting ideas. Sam Ash was a lot of fun. Sam Ash was a lot of fun. So was the park. Park was great. So as I said, I'm going to use that guitar that we own already. Right. Just the neck. Just the neck. And the mechanics. And the mechanics, but I'm going to use the same shape. What is the first step to making this new custom guitar? The, the block of wood. OK. We're going to glue up. We're going to cut the maple and glue it to the mahogany. I want to do a, a rock and roll kind of flame thing. On, on the new custom body. On the new custom body, but with sort of a, a, a classical style carving. The neck on the guitar that we're going to use to start with, I have to cut off. I have to literally cut it off on the bandsaw. And so ultimately, it will be one solid guitar. Now, uh, over here, I'm going to put the knobs hanging off the side. And then the rhythm and tremolo switch is going to go up there on top. And we, we, how many pickups are we going to have? We're going to have two pickups. And all this imagery is going to be carved right into the face. It's going to be raised up right here, you see? And I'm going to do the flames and the carving, right? No. No? No. Well, then maybe I'll just have to make my own thing with flames on it. OK. We're going to go cut the wood now and start to clamp it. You got it. Let's go. All right. All right, what kind of wood is this? This is mahogany. Nice. I got this from a supply shop that sells wood specifically for instrument makers. And that's why it's exactly that size? Yeah, you see, it's, it's made for a standard electric guitar size body. And then burly maple, which is what design is going to be on in the maple. Most of these particular bodies, you can see here how it's, it's, it's what is called book matched. And uh, the wood it was originally one piece, and they split it and open it up like that. So you so see the, that line down the middle? Oh, so the grains almost match going each piece. Yeah, and west. so it gives you a, a mirrored pattern down the center of the guitar. We're making a new body, we're using all these We're making parts. a new body because you kind of want to get back into playing, but you want something fresh to play. Yeah, and I have uh, this is a concept. I've always wanted to customize one of these particular classic looking styles. OK, because I was going to say, why don't you just play this one and we could be off for the day. We wouldn't have a TV show this week. OK, you got it. Good point. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to split this like this. I'm going to give this is going to become the laminate on the front. We're going to split it and book match it, as they call it. The reason I'm cutting the mahogany so thick is I'm going to carve an image into it. Ooh, nice. All right, so a lot of the material is going to be gone, but some of it's going to be raised. What are we carving? I'm going to carve that flame concept around in here. Oh, that's right, right, the flames. Since we're going to copy this size and shape, you see the widest part of the maple face? Is six and a half inches. So I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is cut this to six and I'll cut it to seven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut both sides and then with a sawzall, we're gonna have to cut. Oh. Hey, that's what happens when that's not. We working. have a nice band saw, you guys can go right there. It's from 1880. It's down. I ordered a new motor, it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> there you go.
go. Can you see? When we glue this together, you see how you start to get the mirrored image down the middle? You see that? Now, if we had a band saw, this would have been one nice, easy cut. Now we have to plane it on top of it? Yeah. Or would you have planed it anyway? I have to plane this, pass it through the cut. Oh, the oh yeah, yeah. But now here, this is our, what we call our book match. You see that? Yes. Once I glue it together, we let it dry. And we'll do something else. And then in the next take, I'll be carving it. 